So, Lindsey Williams, great to have you back with us. Recap, just, just as fast as you can, because we're limited on time. We appreciate you joining us. Recap, uh, what the double cross of the Arabs means, what dollar devaluation means, what you've been told, uh, the reopening up of uh, government-controlled oil production all over the United States, including, uh, obviously, uh, up in Alaska, that key sector, uh, and how that's going to affect us. Then let's go back to the stories about Ken Fromm you've never told before uh, and uh, some of the things you can reveal uh, from history that let us uh, chart the future. For the first time, Alex, I honestly wish I could say I was wrong. Uh, instead, I'm going to have to say this morning, I told you so. Um, I, I, I don't know how to even express the way I feel this morning with Saudi Arabia moving tanks and troops right now, as this program is on the air, moving tanks and troops into Bahrain. Bahrain is where their oil goes out. And then through the Strait of Hormuz. Saudi Arabia is the number one supplier of crude oil for the United States of America. It has already been stated by Wall Street that if there's any problem whatsoever in just one more Mideast country, that the price of crude oil is going to go to $225. Now, this was stated by a major Wall Street broker. Overnight, where I live, uh, gas at the gas pump, gasoline went up 12 cents. That's last night. Right now, the, the first day of March, it went up 12 cents a gallon at the gas pump. Saudi Arabia stock market this morning, uh, it's reported, dropped 6.8% overnight. We're in trouble. Uh, I, I have begged people to listen to me. Now, for months, as you know, five months ago, I stated on your program, there's going to be a crisis in the Middle East. I did not realize how far the elite were going to take it. I knew that the dollar was going to be lit, dead by the end of 2012. I knew because they had already told me that the price of crude oil was going from 175 to $200 a barrel within 9 to 12 months. I'm beginning to believe that they have accelerated their timeline. I have not been told that, but it sure looks like it. Well, that now. was four and a half months ago, and you said, to be technical, 150 to 200 and so it's right on time for the acceleration they said that we would see in six months, and you're on record telling us that. That's right. It was on your program. I, I tried my best to warn people. And by the so way, I know who the living uh, former oil company Big 3 CEO is. We just obviously can't reveal his name. Uh, we can reveal the other Mr. X, Ken Fromm, because he's unfortunately passed. But uh, th this is real, folks. It's on record, and you heard it here first. Go ahead. So I, I have to say one other thing that's more startling than any of this. Uh, this is going to drastically affect the economy of the United States of America. The price of your groceries, everything that you do is going to be drastically affected as a result of this. But there's one thing that to me is more startling than any of this. We just got it the other day. I don't think I gave it on your program before. We were able to secure a video and sound bite. And Alex, I'm sorry, but I cannot apologize this morning for what we've just produced. Uh, but I, I'll have to tell you, we were just able to secure a sound video bite of chanting during the time of the Egyptian Revolution. And you will see it. It is in the language of Egypt, but yet the words in English we're putting over the top for the Are you talking about the stuff on YouTube where they're chanting death to Israel? Question back over a week ago when I was on your mm -hmm. program, you said, Lindsay, how is this going to affect Israel? Well, I have your answer for you. They were chanting. Now, this is a Muslim Brotherhood uh, at the time of the Egyptian riots. And the Muslim Brotherhood was chanting. Here we go. Folks, please, you need to write this down, put it beside your calendar. Here's what they chanted. Quote, to Jerusalem we are headed, martyrs in the millions. You haven't seen this. Alex, Alex have you seen the, the footage on this? I've seen footage where they're chanting, we're going to get Israel, death to Israel, we're going to take back Jerusalem. I think that I saw that on YouTube about a week ago. Is that what you're talking about? No, 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 this is another one. This is one that uh, I really don't know where our producers got it. 
But uh, this this is amazing. You see it. You, you can't doubt it. You can hear it in the Egyptian language. Well, let's expand on that because from your research and, 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 and what the oil company exec told you, they are triggering this. Why do they want to trigger this unrest? Is it order out of chaos? For the newspaper magazine reporter from New York Magazine sitting in there, explain to him first the double crossing of the Arabs, what it means, and the fuse it's lighting globally. When Mr. Henry Kissinger was Secretary of State, this was after, of course, the oil fields had been produced by the Arabs. You remember that American oil companies, the majors, that had been formed at the time of the Spindle Top, 1901, Beaumont, Texas, first time major oil found in America. And, of course, the whole world was needing crude oil at that time to, uh, to fuel everything. Texaco, Shell, Standard Oil, Chevron. They, when oil was found in the Arab world over 60 years ago, these majors went in. The Arabs didn't have the money to produce their own oil fields. They couldn't do it. Uh, there had been prior to that nothing but nomads roaming the deserts riding camels. And all of a sudden, out of a clear blue sky, this oil is found. The, these majors, Texaco, Shell, Standard Oil, and Chevron, said, we will produce your oil field. We will build them for you. And you pass back uh, as you sell the oil. Then, when Mr. Henry Kissinger was Secretary of State, this is where the double cross began. He went abroad to every one of these Middle East oil companies, countries that were now producing oil. They had paid the Americans back for what they had built in their oil fields. And he said, I'd like to cut you a deal. Uh, he said, we will not produce from our own soil. This is so significant. We will not produce from our own soil. We know it's here. But he said, we will not produce from our own soil. We will buy oil for you, from you. And the thing that we ask is that you take a certain percentage, and they, they never told me the percentage, they just told me they did it, that we will buy, that you take a certain percentage of what we buy oil from you with and turn around and buy our Federal Reserve. Oh, please, folks, I'm pleading with you to hear this and to analyze what is being said buy our Federal Reserve T-bills and issues at this point, it is obvious that they knew that America was coming to the financial crisis that it is today because somebody had to buy the interest on the debt. Never mind the $14 trillion debt. That is not even important. That's insignificant. The interest on the debt must be paid. How is that interest on the debt paid? It is paid by all producing countries, by China, by Japan, by super rich people, buying T-bills, which were considered to be the most secure currency on the face of the earth. It was the reserve currency of the world, so to speak, the American dollar. And Kissinger said, you buy our treasury issues, our T-bills, we will buy your gas. And they have bought the majority of the interest on the American debt over these years. Now, they intentionally, by design, the Muslim Brotherhood is being supported by the elite. I, I'll guarantee you, I have ways of knowing this. And they are going, they started in Egypt. I told you, I pleaded with you to listen to me. And I'm doing the same today. Five, week, five months before it happened, I came on Alex Jones' show, and I said within four to five months there's going to be a crisis in the Middle East. I've been told it by my elite friends. It happened within four months, almost to the day exactly as we said it. Why? They intentionally are creating the crisis. It started in Egypt. It went to Libya. It's now going to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the greatest supplier of American crude oil. When that oil is cut off, you haven't seen anything. You think gasoline 12 cents overnight at the gas pump went up. Wait till gasoline goes to 7 and 8 and $9 a gallon. The oil is cut off from the Middle East because of the crisis that are over there. At that time, what happens to the American dollar? Here is the... Uh, here's the so the globalists are triggering the implosion of the old order to now announce their new IMF World Bank run Bancor global SDR QE3 uh, system that all currencies will start shifting towards being based in. And the word is it's going to be partially gold back. And this has been their move. You talked about this 12 years ago on the show. You wrote your book in 1980, 30 years ago. 
uh, breaking uh, all of this down, and 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 now here we are, Lindsay. So 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 that's they the double cross. They, they intentionally have double crossed the Middle East oil producing countries. They Ken Kissinger knew back then it was going to happen, but watch what is going to take place now, and you will see it before your eyes in the in a very near future. The, when they cannot, when this thing grows so so bad in the middle, of, oh, please mark mark this day down. I've got so much here and so little time to say it. I'm just yeah, let's get into any it. any new information you have it covered. But I, I promise to get you back on to go back to those Ken Fromm stories you can never tell until now. March the 11th. Please put it down on your calendar. March the 11th. The Muslim Brotherhood has declared a day of rage in Saudi Arabia, folks. If they succeed, that's a reason right now in Saudi Arabia, they're moving into Bahrain, tanks, troops, everything imaginable. If that shuts down, we will have 200 to 225. It'll go above everything they told me it was going to happen. It'll be 200 to $225 a barrel to gas pump. It will sort of affect our, affect our American economy and the dollar. The dollar, closed, the dollar today, please. You've got to see this. The dollar today was 76.73 just a few moments ago before I went on the show. It has been predicted by analysts in Wall Lindsay, Street. Lindsay, stay there. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, Lindsay, I want to continue where you left off uh, with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood on record being an MI6 front. Uh, why would the globalists go in and start triggering all of these revolutions? Why would CNN be telling us how it's like 1776, but then promote sound cannons and microwave guns to be used on the American people? I mean, clearly the globalists love what's happening. Uh, please continue. This is the method of the New World Order to bring in everything that they want to do by the end of 2012. I gave you that timeline over two years ago. I told you that I'd been told by Mr. Trump, that's before he passed away, that the timeline is the end of 2012. Uh, we're getting very close. Here's what basically you're going to see next. When Kissinger went abroad and said, I'll cut you a deal, you buy our treasury issues, it was as sound as the dollar. It's not that way today. This Middle East crisis is all perpetrated by the elite. I was told that, and I reported it on your show before it ever happened. You can't say you didn't hear it, and I'm warning you what's going to happen from here. Whenever this crisis grows to a fever pitch, it is going to Saudi Arabia. One way or the other, the Muslim Brotherhood will see to it, and March the 11th is their goal for the day of rage. And when this happens, Saudi being the one to supply more crude oil to America than any other country, it will m impact the American economy and society and the dollar. The dollar just before going on your show this morning, Alex, I looked at it. It was 76.73, and it is forecast that when it hits 75, it will plunge. That means that you go to the grocery store, you're going to be paying phenomenal prices for groceries, for hardware, for everything imaginable. What's going to happen in the Middle East as this price grows to a fever pitch? In turn, they will not be able to supply us with the oil. Libya just cut off 1.6 million barrels that went to Europe. Now, when Saudi Arabia cuts off the United States of America, can you even comprehend in the least what is going to happen? But this is not the worst part. The part is so significant is when the dollar plunges, the value of those T-bills and Federal Reserve securities, China holds $1 trillion worth. All of the Middle East countries were told by Mr. Kissinger it was the soundest currency on the world. They have trillion dollar, trillions of dollars worth. Whenever this plunges, the American dollar goes down because they can't supply. The American economy is affected. This is an outright double cross. Folks, do you have the slightest idea what they intentionally did? They double crossed all these nations, sold them worthless paper. Now they're holding it. And then when they realize what this country has done to them, when China realizes they have $1 trillion of worthless paper, folks, I warned you, I pleaded with you. Mr. Fromm told me before he passed away, he said, Chaplin, if it's written on a piece of paper, it's worth the paper it's written on. And when America 
when they always they, they've done this intentionally in the Middle East in order to create the crisis so that they could bring about the, the Americans being in such a destitute condition that you will plead and beg with the New World Order, the World Bank, and the IMF for a new currency.